This video was recorded live on my Twitch channel. Check out all of my live streams down in the description below. So the FF Challenge is next, and it's a race event exclusively for front engine, front wheel drive cars aimed at beginner drivers. And for the first time, I'm going to be using a prize car for this one. Let's go to our car selection, and we're going to be using the 2011 Renault Sport Clio RS. Because I like it a lot. And it only gets a single lap around brands at, in the tutorial, and yeah, it deserves more love. So anyway, Sakuba Circuit, Deep Forest Raceway, and Trenring Motegi East. How big of a problem are mosquitoes in California? Uh, they're quite a, they're big. They're not a super big problem, but they're pretty common. Quite annoying little fuckers. So what do we have? A Megan, a Volvo S60, Focus ST, Fiat, Coupe, and the Honda Civic EP. Okay, cool. Let's go. So as you can see, I, I feel like, I don't know if it's just me, but I don't remember the events being this repetitive so far. Like, I feel like we've done Sakuba enough already. Freshman Cup, five minute races, this. Actually, maybe it's just because it's the beginning. We're already up to P4. Oh, which song are you referring to, Castro? In GT2. My favorite game? Or are you talking about East City? Oh, I see your comment now. This is my nice remix. Well, technically, uh, when I do my GT1 LP, you will see the origins of where East City actually came from, which is cool. In case you guys didn't know what that is. Pretty sure most of you know already. Now it's so weird. Technology, Chris. The game has advanced. Yeah! Oh, you don't? Okay. So, GT1... The Japanese soundtrack is much different. The tunes that you hear in GT1's Japanese soundtrack are all tunes that you eventually hear in 2, 3, and 4. You're one month away from becoming an S tier member in Jimmer's chat? Nice. I still have um, quite a way to go before I get my S rating. I think I'm like a year and a half in. I, I had to drop out because of... Um, of COVID for a bit. Oh shit. Yeah, it is what it is, Ender. So I'll have to wait to get my, um, my S rating. I mean, it's not a really a big deal, though. I mean, Jimmer's doing pretty well off anyway, so like... Yeah. <laughs> But still gotta support the homies, especially those who supported me for so long. Have I felt different? Um, so, starting from GT2 onwards, Castrol, uh, the only difference in soundtracks was the um, actual in race music. It was only the first game that had different music in the menus. Obviously, the race music was much different. And the race music in GT1 in Japan was amazing, so. You guys will hear all of that when we finish GT6. Yo, Denny, what's up? <laughs> Bro, just, um, nobody is such a good song. My favorite song is Freedom to Win, honestly. The saxophone in Freedom to Win is... So incredible. Like, the nice thing about GT1's Japanese soundtrack is that I won't have to take out the music, only in endurances, because what I'm going to do is obviously edit in the music for the menus like Rhino does, but in the race, I will edit in multiple songs on YouTube because I don't want to listen to the same song for an hour or two hours straight. I'd lose my fucking mind.
But yeah, nobody's good. Green Monster's good. Freedom of the Wind's my favorite song. Um, I forget some of the other song names. The Forest Raceway's next. <laughs> so Arrow told me, oh no. And then Rhino told me, oh god. <laughs> the same response. Just a different word to end the sentence. Slash response from both. So, S focus to C13. Two Volvos, a Fiat, and a Volkswagen. Cool. So, for context, anyone who just joined, um, chat just told me that uh, the next daily races for next week is uh, Daily A is going to be N600 at Special Stage Route X. So, I told Arrow and Rhino, and they both... They both said, oh no. Well, Arrow said, oh no. Rhino said, oh god. Mr. Four-Wheel Drive? Yes. Mr. Four-Wheel Drive, well, it's technically a different version. I forget where that version is. I think it's like on a music CD that you could you could have gotten from Sony or some shit. But like, that was the Subaru soundtrack. Or the Subaru theme, I should say. I think I'm paranoid for two hours. To be honest, when I did my original GT1 LP, I listened to Freedom to Win for an hour straight in the SSR SSRX, SSR11 race, and I didn't get tired of it, but, but I'm very sure people will get tired of hearing the same jazz all the time. Wait, GTPSP actually repeats the music as well. I didn't know that. I haven't done a, I haven't done a race longer than like three minutes or eight minutes or whatever. Super Bonbon bon for Laguna Seca 200. Yeah, it sh exactly. I was gonna say that too because like actually. Now I think about it, I think I used um, custom OST when I was like doing money grinding before. Like, and never did I hear the same song over and over again. Bad boy Slim. Yo, Ethan, your PS3 is officially dead. Damn. Didn't you say it was already dead because it had water damage or some shit? Want to get digged by copyright? I don't give a shit about copyright, honestly. Like the only thing that, con that concerns me really, Denny, is um, is getting uh, takedowns. But when it comes to getting demonetized, I could give less of a fuck, really. Like it doesn't bother me. So like that's why it's like when I do GC three, the only song that I will not either edit in or play on Spotify is Stone Free by Jimi Hendrix because that song single-handedly ruined Rhino's LP wait this is the 2002 jo Tokyo Geneva song I wouldn't know Stone Free is a great song rest in peace uh, Jimi Hendrix but but yeah, um, muting your muting an entire video that that's pretty lame, in all honesty. Pretty lame. All right, I'm gonna save a thumbnail for this one because it's deep forest and we haven't been to deep forest yet until today. Tornado Motegi East is the final race for this. Oh, it's the... Oh, okay. Wait. I have a feeling. I'm not playing it, but I think I know what it is. Is it that song that goes like, Give me up, yeah, 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 yeah. Haven't driven G-Force in months? Same. This is the first time... Oh, no. Death Sun's in here, guys. Andrew Brooks. Why is he from Brazil? 
Oh fuck, Death Sun's in here, we're gonna lose. It's time to go to Brazil. Yeah, yeah, get on the bus, we're going to Brazil, guys. <laughs> no, I don't want to go to Brazil. Damn, that RSX was really slow through that section there. I mean, I know I'm beating a dead horse when saying that the AI is slow, but god damn was he slow in that corner. Albania? I, I read that as Alabama at first. I was like, yeah, that's, that's, Alabama's probably worse than Brazil. <laughs> I'd rather go to Brazil than fucking Alabama, honestly. Bip, bip, yeah. <laughs> that's the song that always plays on default, I believe. The AI is just civilian AI. Yes, we're playing Grand Theft Auto, guys. Grand, this is Grand Theft Auto 6. GTA 6. Fist of God? That's what it's called? By MRR... What? Bro, uh, Fiends, you know this is an English chat only, right? It's okay. Next time, just please only speak in English and not whatever the fuck you just wrote. GTA 6 2. Oh! Very nice. Very cool. Are we gonna have to redo this race? Maybe, possibly, we'll see. I don't even know how to pronounce that. All right, so there's uh, A Brooks in the lead. Oh look, guys, this this is a. Um, do you want to see my best Gran Turismo World Tour impersonation? Okay, so that's uh, Andrew Brooks leading, right? Brooks is in the lead in the Repercharge race, followed by some guy, and then of course, as usual. Oh yeah, the the crash physics aren't like as. Cars aren't as, like, push-heavy as they are in sport. There, that's close enough. That's pretty much the story of Death Sun whenever he does, um, world tour events. He always gets screwed some way or another by incompetence around him. You'll be gone for a bit? Alright, Castro. The PS pre presentation was funny from the chat standpoint. I mean, sort of. Honestly, I, I expected worse from the chat. The chat was mostly just childish. And not what I would say probably outright malicious. But it wasn't as terrible as I thought it would be, in all honesty. Well, that's the f challenge complete. And, um, nothing else to say, really. Other than, yeah, three more races down and, um, four more championships to go in the B license section. And with that, we are now 14% of the way complete with the game. So let's move on to the next race now.